How's it going, Grey Boys? It's update day. And as you can see, we've got a new intro video and a new cover player, Derek Stingley Jr. Absolutely fantastic. Just minor updates there, but instead of it being the 2020 season, it is now the 2021 season. This update, version 14, brings us the Mountain West Conference, or should I say almost all the Mountain West Conference. Air Force was completed uh, previously when they did Navy, so they were left out of this update because they were already done. What we do have, though, is Boise State, Colorado State, Fresno State, Hawaii, Nevada, New Mexico, San Diego State, San Jose State, UNLV, Utah State, and Wyoming all completed their fields, helmets, jerseys, pants, gloves, socks, and bowl end zones. And then there's a few other things, a new UCF uniform, a Navy uniform, a Kansas one, and then a couple of fixes for a few other teams. So as always, we're going to just go through the uniforms, show them off and, you know, take a look to see what ones are potentially our favorites. Going alphabetically, we will start with Boise State, the Broncos. Uh, I think they have a pretty clean look. I like the helmets. I like the simple lines on the side. So let's just go through. Uh, they've got the blue helmet here. They've got the white helmet. Pretty much the exact same thing, but inverted. The black one that I think is a matte black, which is always cool. Love the orange helmet. Uh, and then jersey-wise, they've got the blue jersey. They've got the white jersey. It's such a clean look with those shoulders. I really do like that. The black one with the gray uh, uh, name and shoulder accents. The orange jersey is nice. Kind of getting some uh, blue Mountain State vibes, but... Obviously, that's going to happen when the colors are pretty much the exact same. Pants-wise, we have the standard blue, the white, the black, and the orange. So, you kind of have that all around. Uh, blue, black, and white socks. You've got uh, the team color shoes. So, as always, uh, a bang-on job. They did a great job with these. The home uniforms, the aways, the full orange, the full black. And then there's going to be so many different alternate combinations uh, that you can put in. Boise State, definitely uh, a big update there and looks very solid. Next on the list is Colorado State and the Rams. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of their jerseys or their, their standard stuff. Uh, but they have probably one of my favorite alternates in all of college football. Maybe just my one of my favorite uniforms in all of college football. Uh, so we're going to go straight to that preset because it'd be a shame to show it otherwise. You've got the home look, the away look, the ag day look, which is just, was this Miami? <laughs> Interesting, but pretty cool one. And then here it is, the state pride. I, I don't know why I love Colorado's state flag. And this uniform is so fantastic. So the Rams... Uh, will most likely have won this update for me in terms of uniforms that they have. Plenty of alternates available to them. Uh, but again, just the, the state pride stuff is so, so good. And because they have some interesting looks uh, or interesting alternates, you could really do a number with uh, some of the looks that you could give these guys if you did something like that. Just kind of ugly, but... <laughs> I mean... Sometimes when I face off against a team this game, that's what I want to do is I want to make them look foolish so that when we beat them, it hurts even more. Oh, uh, too good. Next is Fresno State. Bulldogs. Pretty simple team. Uh, Cardinal helmet. White helmet. Uh, I do like the script Bulldogs on their Cardinal helmet. I think I like it a little bit more than the white with the just normal logo. Cardinal jersey and white jersey. Throw in the blue. Kind of a dark navy blue. Um, solid look, you could throw in some alternates, but again, any team with red, white, and blue as their colors can only do so much to stand out without, you know, uh, really pushing the envelope there. So Fresno State has decent combinations, but it's nothing to write home about, really. Hawaii is next on our list, and, uh, I don't know if I downloaded my update wrong or if they just don't really have any alternates, uh, in real life. 
I know that in the past they've had some of my favorites, the Rainbow Warriors ones, where they have like the rainbow on the side of the helmet and shoulder pads. But uh, preset wise for Hawaii right now in this update is just the home and away. So I might have missed something. I'm sure you guys will let me know and I'll post something in the comments if there is more. But uh, to me, it looks like it's just the black and white uh, versions. So Hawaii maybe at this point loses this update for me. Nevada is next on the list. The Wolfpack, they're decent with uh, their uniforms. Again, nothing too crazy. I do like, uh, kind of like Fresno, they have the script pack on the side of their silver helmet. Uh, just the simple number on the other side. You've got the silver helmet, you've got the blue helmet, you've got the black helmet, which is just uh, maybe a little bit too much for me. Uh, and then you've got, let's see, the white pants and jersey, the black and gray, jersey and pants, black pants, the blue pants, gray jersey. A lot of combinations for Nevada. None of them, again, really pushing the envelope, but it gives you a lot of good combinations that you can uh, throw in for different alternates uh, just to mix things up so that you're not always wearing the same uniform every time. The Lobos of New Mexico um, are okay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I like the helmet. The anthracite. Teams that do that anthracite are pretty solid. Cherry is a solid color of red, but again, nothing too absurd. Throwbacks are always nice. I do like this older logo that they use. Um, and again, nothing too crazy. I mean, so many teams have done red and white as main colors in college football that uh, you have to almost look ridiculous to pull off something different enough to stand out. So they do a solid job and you're given, you know, a decent amount of options for alternates if you want to have a, a New Mexico dynasty. But New Mexico, of course, is only 72 overall, so uh, a good dynasty choice in that regard as well. San Diego State and the Aztecs have some very cool uh, uniforms. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The inspirations from Aztec culture all over. Plastered on the helmet, on the shoulders, and down the sides of the pants is very cool. Uh, their away jersey, similar situation. Again, not a lot of options, and that kind of limits what you could do. You really only have your home and away options available to you, um, but at least they do them very, very well. Staying in California, San Jose State is next. The Spartans uh, have, a again, just a solid, nothing too crazy uh, standard home and away. I do really like the helmets that they have. It's simple, but it's not too simple. Uh, and also, San Jose State has just a really, really cool logo. Uh, I mean, it's a Spartan. You can't go wrong with that. The away, not much different. They've got the white out. They've got a couple of variations. They do have more options. Blue and white helmet. The blue and white jerseys. Uh, and then pants. They've got gold, blue, and white. So you're able to do just a little bit more than some of the other teams that we've seen. So again, anything to keep it fresh uh, as you're playing through your dynasty is a big benefit for me. UNLV will be next. Uh, the Rebels... Maybe struggling a bit in the football department these days, but, you know, they have okay uniforms. <laughs> uh, black and scarlet as the colors. They've got the black helmet. They've got the gray throwback helmet, which isn't my cup of tea, but it's not terrible. The white is all right. I like that it's kind of all white. Uh, they take the red away from that. And then the scarlet helmet again. Scarlet jersey and white jersey throw the gray one in there. Gray jersey honestly might be uh, my favorite one that they have. And then this old uh, Hey Reb version. So, uh, you know, it's it's enough of a change. Uh, it's got the cool logo on the shoulders. Probably my favorite of the jerseys that they have. And then they've got the black pants and the gray pants and the Hey Reb ones. I like the red belt. That's a nice touch. And then of course the white pants. So, Nothing too crazy for UNLV. I feel like I say that about a, a lot of these teams, but it's just the truth. They do a good job of changing enough uh, that gives them a lot of alternate options. But at the end of the day, 
It's another team that has red and white as its main colors. And uh, I mean, even red and black, very, very common in college football. Utah State is the penultimate team. It's included in the Mountain West in this update. They've got a simple uniform, but the accents are nice. The shoulders and the uh, the sides of the pants are pretty solid. They've got the uh, white State U helmet. They've got the black one and they've got the blue one. And then they've got the Aggie blue, which is a nice, fun alternate. Always love throwing a mascot up there. Um, jersey wise, couple of options. Uh, the pewter is uh, an odd color, but it's a unique one at least. And they get points for that. Uh, not the craziest amount of options, uh, but they're better than most of the teams. And I like that they have um, plenty of different versions. They've got the Aggie blue and the blue. They've got the Aggie white and the white and so on. So again, you're given a ton of options uh, for your alternates. And, and I mean, I say it often, but it matters a lot for me when I'm doing my dynasty because it gives you just a little bit more to, uh, to change up as you go through your seasons. Wyoming is our final team in this update for the Mountain West. Wyoming doesn't do anything too crazy with their uniforms usually, but they do at least have unique colors. I think pretty much the only team that would be considered similar is maybe Western Michigan. But then again, they're unique enough that having two teams out of 126 with uh, the brown and yellow isn't too bad. Or the brown and gold. Maybe uh, Wyoming fans would get mad at me. Just the white helmet, uh, just the white and brown jerseys, and just the gold pants. Not a lot going on for the Cowboys, but it's kind of reflective of the state. Now, there's also a couple of other updates from outside of the Mountain West. First being the UCF. Uh, they've added the 2020 space uniforms, so I imagine it's a preset. So there's the 2019, which in my initial uh, update video, I said the helmet was a space. It's actually the moon. I've been corrected on that. Hopefully I get that right. Uh, the 2020 ones, similar but different enough and also just so cool. I, I mean, just you can't dislike these jerseys or, or these uniforms. I do think I like the 2019 ones a little bit more. The moon uh, on this side of the helmet is awesome. You've got constellations on the shoulders and in the numbers. And then that USA uh, on the leg, similar to like a Saturn V rocket, is so cool. But the good news is, now that you have two of them, you could just combine parts and make your own. So the 2019 Space Helmet is the better of the two helmets, I think. But you could throw it onto the 2020 Space Helmet. Uh, jersey and pants. Navy has also received a new uniform in this update. It is the 175th anniversary uniforms. Uh, very cool. It's as simple as that. Navy has a lot of very cool uniforms, which is kind of surprising, I think, for a service academy. But they do a very good job with them, and they're just very unique. You know, you've got that. You've got the cool old throwback ones. The Blue Angels are really cool. And even just their standard home and away uh, have a nice twist or, or a nice take on kind of a classic look. Kansas and the Jayhawks have the final new uniform in this update, and it is the Hail to Old KU alternates. <laughs> this one... Uh, this one pushes the envelope. We don't get a lot of these, but the Jayhawks with this one, uh, very much a throwback, very much different. You know, maybe they're trying to wear this kind of alternate because they don't want people to realize that they're playing Kansas because maybe they'll actually be scared to face off against them. All jokes aside, though, uh, these are cool. It's, you know, it's different. It's hard to match that with anything else that they have. Um, but you could, I guess, throw some stuff in the World War II helmets kind of work. Uh, maybe throwing the World War II jersey into it. I think that works pretty well. Um, but beyond that, there's not a whole lot that I think that you could do with them. So that is it for the version 14 update for the college football revamped mod. There are a few other minor things changing uniforms but nothing new or nothing major. 
And so that leaves me curious as to what your guys' uh, favorite uniform or uh, overall team from this update is. Obviously, you guys know that I really like those Colorado State State Pride uniforms and the UCF Space uniforms are always going to get at least uh, an 8.5 out of 10 from me. But I'm curious to hear your guys' opinions, so please feel free to leave a comment. And then, uh, well, while you're down there, maybe hit like on this video. And if you haven't already, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Unfortunately, though, that is all the changes in this update. If you would like to see the patch notes for yourself, if you'd like to download the mod, you can go to cfbrevamp.com or head to the CFB Revamped Twitter or Discord. All those links will be down in the description as well as links to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. It's going to be links to my Twitter and our community Discord as well. All that being said though, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Grey Boys. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you when version 15 releases. Adios.